fabulous parents. Today we're talking about drop and walk. This is something that your kids do without even being taught. Most kids do it. Most parents say, ugh, drives me crazy. This is to be filed under creative consequences for screen-free parenting. Screen-free, here we go. When they leave their stuff around, so they just happen to be doing something they drop whatever it is and walk away. Don't say a word. Not a single word. Just pick it up, hide it, and wait. Remember, you are wiser than your child. So what you're doing is you're waiting for them to come to you and ask, have you seen my iPad? Have you seen my brush? Whatever it is. You say, why, yes, I have. <laughs> And your child then says, that's their cue for you, for them to say something because now you don't say another word other than, yes, I have. Your child then says, well, can I have it back? Yes, you can. You can earn it back. And here's how. We have chore bags. So these two fictitious children, Ethan, 14, Mia, who's 10, gets to choose one little chore from the chore bag. Let me give you an example of this. So in Ethan's chore bag, we will try one right here. Let's see what we've got. Oh, love this one. Ethan, if he wants his whatever it is back, he has to vacuum spider webs from the basement. Who doesn't want that done? That's a great job. You may find that you want to hide his stuff anyway just to get the jobs done. <laughs> And let's see, Ethan has another one in here. This one is, oh, here we go. Pick up doggy nuggets from the backyard. Wow, these are great. Here's what one smart parent did. They filled the bag with the ones that say, pick up doggy nuggets from the backyard. The child had no idea, just thought they were gonna pick out of a whole array of jobs but they all said the same thing. They get one choice. So they ended up getting all the dog nuggets picked up. And here we go with Mia. Mia has two as well. Let's see now. Mia's say, wash the kitchen chairs. Who does that? Most people don't do that, so that's a good job. And here's another one, clean the bathtub. Well, a couple of things to remember. The jobs should be age appropriate. They should also have a time limit on them. So you can say you have one hour to do this job, otherwise you don't get it back today. Maybe tomorrow, if you do the job. Now, you also reserve the right to say whether or not you're going to give it back based on how well the job was done. This works out so well for you. <laughs> uh, so anyway, what I think is going to happen is your child will draw the conclusion and connect the dots that say, hmm, if I leave my stuff around, I'm gonna to have to work to get it back. That doesn't work for them. So they will then figure out that they need to put it away. You have accomplished something you've been trying to do for a long time and just want to say that not all the strategies work on all children. The idea is to keep trying something new and hopefully they'll learn their lesson the first time and move forward just like they're supposed to. This way, it's scream-free for you, stress-free for you. You're not pulling your hair out. You're not yelling. You've got this. You've got this. And I have here, when your kids say to you, why do I have to do this? I don't want to do this. Why would you make me earn my stuff back? because I'm a fabulous parent. Yeah, you remember that from yesterday, I'm sure. Okay, that is the strategy. Have fun with it. See you tomorrow. Bye.